A yard equipment manufacturer produces lawn mowers and rototillers in the same plant. Each mower requires four hours to produce, while rototillers require seven hours to produce. If the plant operates 70 hours per week, what combination, what combinations of mowers and rototillers can they produce in a week? Let's call M the number of mowers and let's call R the number of rototillers. Now we know that each mower requires four hours to produce and rototillers require seven hours to produce and we have a total of 70 hours per week that we can use. So if we produce M mowers that's 4m amount of time. Right? So we would have 4 times the number of mowers. All right, that's the number of hours. And we'd have 7 times the number of rototillers produced. Now, we can only operate for 40 for 70 hours per week. Well, so that amount of time has to be less than or equal to 70. You can't go over 70. We could be exactly 70, or we could produce some combination that is less than 70. All right, so now let's graph this as an equation. Let's graph this as an equation. So we have 4m plus 70r. Let's think equals for a moment. Let's, let's assume it's an equals for just a moment. Well, we can graph this. Um, I'm going to use the intercepts. All right, so the m intercept would be, we would let r equal 0, and we'd have 4m equals 70, and so that means that m would equal, let's see, 70 over 4, 17.5. So that would give me 17.5 comma 0. All right, and finding the r-intercept by letting m equal 0, I would have 7r equals 70, which would mean r equals 10, and so I would have 0, 10. Drawing the line through those points, So now those, the points on that line, represent the combinations that would produce exactly 70 hours. But it said we could have less than 70 hours as well. So now what happens is when we have an inequality, a linear inequality in two variables, we will often shade a region that satisfies the inequality. And one way to do this is to test a point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a point on one side of the line. I'm going to test that point. So I'm going to test the ordered pair 2 comma 1 in the original inequality. So I'd have 4 times 2 plus 7 times 1. Is this less than or equal to 70? Right, so, so I'll put a question mark there. So we'd have 8 plus 7, that's 15. Is 15 less than or equal to 70? Yes, that's, that's a true statement. What that tells me is th this point is a solution of the inequality. What it also tells me is I can shade this entire region containing that point. Now, I've implied some other constraints in this problem. Notably, m must be greater than or equal to 0, and r must be greater than or equal to 0. We, must, we, we can't have a negative number of mowers or rototillers, so there's other implied constraints. Now, some of the other examples that we'll do will not have these implied constraints.